welcome back. Today we are going to be doing another Kaggle data set for practice. And this one is also related to time series, but the thing is, it's about ice cream. First of all, we're going to import the first four main libraries. Panda.pd, matplotlib.pyplot, as plt, and from stat model tca.seasonal, we're going to import seasonal decompose, and since I can't write this all, I changed the name to sdc. And now we're going to import numpy as np. Before starting all of the main things, we're going to read our file in the computer. So data is equal to pd.read underscore csv. And here you're going to put your file name. How do you get your file? You click on this folder. You click on this upload arrow sign. And here you select your folder and you get your ice cream. You know, your data set. And now we're going to print the first uh, 35 head. You know, the first first 35 rows and the last five rows. Now, as you can see, this is the temperature and this is revenue. Revenue is for like how much ice cream has been sale that day. Let's take another row, for example. Okay, let's take 25. As you can see, the temperature is 19. Okay, wait, no. The temperature is 35.2 degrees that day. And 810 ice cream were sold. That's nice. Now, let's plot our graph. Now, data.subset is we only want selected selected few rows. We don't want the whole thing. Otherwise, it will be much more congested. So, I've chosen these rows. Uh, like 16, 37, 47, 59, 287, 402, and 404. By using data.ilog, we can only use these ones. And now we're going to plot with data.subset the temperature and the revenue. And finally, we're going to add our labels and title. For example, the X label is going to be temperature, Y label is going to be our revenue, and the title is going to be sales of ice cream during different temperatures. Now let's show the plot. As you can see, now you might wonder why they're not going up and then down because the temperature varies from time to time. It's not like it will go keep on going straight and then you know never come back. So just like that, the temperature is going to go like you know a little bit crooked over here. But otherwise, our graph is fine. So now we're going to sort our values by temperature and ascending. We're going to sort our values of temperature in an ascending order. We're going to plot the data, then we're going to sort the temperature and revenue both together. And now let's plot our graph again. As you can see, we did all of it. This is, the, this is our ascending order. This is sales of ice cream during different temperatures. This is revenue and this is temperature. And it's just in green. Now we're going to do our additive decompose. Now you might ask, where did multiplicative decompose come? You know, why aren't uh, aren't we using it? Because the thing is, multiplicative decompose is used when there is no linear relationship between two values. But here, this is not the case. There is actually a linear value between two of these, you know, components. So that's why we're going to be using additive decompose. And for our period, time period, we're going to give 12 considering that there are 12 months in one year. After showing this graph, here is our original, you know, graph. This is the trend taken out from the graph. This is the seasonality. And this is the residual, which means not everything captured by trend or seasonality. Now that we're done with this, we're going to go for log transformation, which means distributing data across, uh, you know, evenly distributing data across our graph. So you're going to do data.log and the copy and you're, we are going to use uh, this, you know, this is the column we want to transfer. And now we're going to start our log transformation. We're going to have our subplot as 211 and the title will be original time series and we're going to plot it on revenue. And same thing we're going to do, but instead of the title as original, we're going to do log transformation time series. And as you can see, this is our original time series. And this is our log transform time series. Now, why is there a difference? Uh, because as you can see, our graph is not evenly distributed. The data points are not evenly distributed. That's why it's like that. Now, thank you so much for watching.